sightseeing to another level today to just get a hold of what California really has to give. I came from the East Coast to the West Coast and I am happy that I was able to experience what I have thus far. I still have quite a bit of rapid events that I plan to participate in and just really make this day be a turnout. I would really enjoy going to some museums as well as maybe traveling around Venice Beach and maybe even downtown LA. Things happen very quickly so I will do my best to stay on a rapid course. I don't really have any initial plans set other than a party that is supposed to be happening later tonight that I think I just may join and see what it is about. I have really seen a lot of what California really has to offer. I see that things happen very quickly here. The people that I have interacted with thus far, they seem to just be in the spirit of moving with the city of Los Angeles. And I can understand. I have seen a diverse amount of people and I've seen minorities uh, gathered up as well. I can really see all of the trending fashions that people have aligned themselves with as well. I know that California really focuses heavy on what they bring to their image and I was able to capture those visuals very much physically um, by just looking at people and knowing if they are initially Californians or if they were actually from another city or state as myself I have even come to think about maybe one day moving towards the west coast I do see that the expense level would be something that I would have to really take into consideration unless I found other means of employment I think that I could make friends over in California and that it would be quite a experience as you grow in life you're able to build better connections and in how I feel about people I think I can learn to bring respect as well as support within any, within any friendship or relationship that I may build. I am going to go deeper into Los Angeles and to see what else the city may have in store. There seems to be a couple of parts but it wasn't anything that was hard to handle I did take a bus route and it just gave me another experience their buses are actually non-expensive and I was happy that I took the bus route to an event and the event turned out just wonders of interest as well as entertainment. 
that was provided by the outstanding music performers. And I actually took back a Uber because they had stopped running the bus routes did. But it was still nice to interact with the Californians, people that you know are from this state as well as the City of Angels. I have brought a whole new means to just seeing what the world gives this side of the country. So I just may hit up a lemonade stand and really walk with a peaceful nature and unforgettable sense of mine because I do want to have implanted memories of my experience. Being here in Los Angeles has really helped me see that sometimes you really have to take charge at a fast pace especially when it comes to driving in a car I noticed that I really had to take off like the road runner because you have aggressive drivers where road rage is a plenty. So I had to pick up the pace. It felt a little funny at first, but I understood why because you can't get into an accident quite severely. I witnessed a accident where someone actually hit a parked car and it was a very sturdy collision and I saw a group of people and everybody just seemed to have to go around. You have to take charge from one light to the next stoplight. They actually have stop signs um, for stop lights for their stop signs that's just how important it is to keep up with the traffic out in LA I all around still enjoyed the experience the parking however was quite I'll say not unbearable, but it definitely had its drawbacks when actually trying to park in a parking garage. It can take quite a while to find an actual park when there are actually events going on or I can see weekend gatherings and it did take a steady amount of time to finally spat a bark and grab it. I ate at a restaurant as well and I gotta say the food was okay. I think next time I will be more patient with the choices that I decide to get but all in all it was a nice casual experience and I want to see just what today may hold. This is also the last day of Pride Month so you never know what activities could be lurking amongst the California rainbow. So there are quite a bit of different plans that I have thought about to just go out and take a risk and see what I can enjoy or get into. As I edge closer to my last day in California, I can say that this was a trip that I would not want 
take years for me to really just think about starting a life in a city like Los Angeles. But I just have to bring along the growth that I have within myself to just really think about something that important that can really change my life so all of that is only taking into consideration it is not something that I am going to jump on to say I'm ready to have a life in Cali no I have grown quite a bit from my days of impulse and doing quick reactions I want to take it on a route that I can handle so with that said I have to say that California is a trip that I feel one should take in their lifetime but do know that it is quite expensive if you to California on a gift or with a group effort I say go for it I feel with a group of friends you can have just a hell of a time there are different places that I will let you all know that I have visited and I'll give you a rundown on how much I liked it and certain choices that I found to be less expensive to the ones that I did see a costly amount and I'll also see just how much money I did use on this trip so thank you so much for joining me on this vacay in the city of Los Angeles and it's not over yet so I'll be talking with you all soon thank you all so much for joining me and for anyone that is from Cali let me know maybe next time we can get up and have a coffee or plan a dinner or a it's all about having fun. I do want to visit Disneyland. That's still on a bucket list of mine. And hey, I may still have time today. The thoughts of what to do in Los Angeles are remarkable. All right, I'll be seeing you all soon. Bye-bye. Cali Life.